Well, y'all, it was my birthday the other day, and I got me some new toys for my AR. Um, I know my other videos, I didn't have very good light, so I'm trying to do it a little bit different. This is the the grip I put on this rifle. I love it. It's just it's a lot thicker than normal. It kicks you back by over a half inch back here. But in addition to that, this is actually a hoe grip for my Glock that I wedged on over there, and I actually super glued it in place. I've got one of these on my Glock too, so it gives you a real, real thick grip on there. Real good grip to hang on to with that. All right, so new parts. Got me a Command Arms sniper stock here. Pretty cool little stock. It's got a Picatinny rail on one side. Nice little storage compartment on the other. And if you want to hook it up for left hand, you got your screws in there that you can take it out and swap the parts. So that goes on real easy, folks. I'll show you that in a second. Now, I've already had it on the rifle, and I found that it rattled and made a lot of noise, and I didn't like that whatsoever. So I did two things to it. Real simple to do. Um, one was I took a couple little wedges of plastic, actually from the box that this came in, and I wedged two layers and super glued them right down in here in the very bottom just to fill this, and that helped to keep my wobble out going this way. The second thing I did was I took the little pin out of my nut down here. I backed this off a couple turns and put the roll pin back in. This allowed the release to set deeper into the holes on my handle back in here on that tube. So these are real easy to swap. Just pull your lever, pull it all the way down, and pull it back. Come right off. See that's the roll pin I pulled out. You can just see it in the hole. I just push that out back this wheel off a little bit and put the pin back in and that allows that to sit deeper up in when it goes together. Just put the new one on. Not too bad. Nice little compartment on there. Like I said, I put those little pieces of plastic in there, it stiffens it up a lot. Barely any wobble of this whatsoever now. No rattle at all. No rattle at all. So that's pretty decent. And what I got here, folks, is a cheek riser from Command Arms. Attaches to the Picatinny rail here. It's not going to help me any for the red dot. But when I eventually put a scope on here, it'll take that scope and rise that scope up for me. Pretty nice little riser there. Now one thing about the riser though, you're going to have to have that back in order to run your charging handle. If it's too far forward, you won't be able to run your charging handle. Nice rubber padding on it. Kind of hard padding, but 223 doesn't kick too bad anyway, so. Decent. And that compartment set up to hold batteries in there. Pretty nice. Anyway, I got another part to put on too.